What do you think of the chemical isoprene? Exactly. What's an ice supreme? Ice cream? Ice supreme? Ice supreme? Yeah. Uh, I'll have to get back to you on that. Ice supreme. Ice supreme. I've never heard of it. Uh, what do you use uh, an ice supreme? <laughs> the, the ice is what really bothers me about ice cream. Mm -hmm. It's very, very cold. Yeah. I don't like cold. That's why I drink Cold's a lot of worst. coffee. coffee. Person says, A battle for the ages! Who will come out on top? Fight! Nineteen forty four, and the United States is on the march. Suffering heavy defeats at the hands of the German armored cavalry, the United States embarks on a revolutionary quest to develop synthetic rubber. There is a new hero in time, remembering a process called vulcanization by Charles Goodyear. They drew on techniques originally observed by the French in Native America. The United States was on its way to victory. Using their new and improved rubber, the Americans were able to plow over the German defenders. America was on its way to victory once again. Hello, I'm Hank Green and I'm here to teach you about chemistry. Now before you run away from your computer screen... I know what you are. Your readily soluble in diethyl ether, acetone, ethanol, and other organic solvents. Your colorless flammable liquid. You're found in several tree saps in South America. You're almost insoluble in water. Safe. Out loud. Your isoprene. Chanel, get there. Supreme's in tires. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I've got the answer for you now. I googled that, and uh, isoprene is uh, C5H8. Correct. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Correct. <laughs>